God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Friday, October the 9th. Today's devotional is based on the book of Matthew, chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for the, his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them out into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idly in, in the marketplace, and he said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he said the same. And about five o'clock he went out and found others standing around, and he said to them, Why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard. When the evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those who were hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And then when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to the last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Charlotte Cleghorn. How easily we can relate to the grumbling of the laborers who assume that because they went into the vineyard early, they would be paid more. Such dangerous assumptions can be, our be in our closest relationship with working with our, within our work settings, within our congregations, within our national thinking. They are say there is a saying, assumptions are planned resentments. Whenever we assume anything, we set ourselves up for possible disappointment, or even worse, as we set the other person, place, or thing up as an object of our disappointment, anger, or resentment. And Charlotte Cleghorn leaves us with this today. Do we find ourselves envious of another's gifts, talents, abilities, possessions, social status, and so forth? How often am I envious of others' good fortune? Let us pray. Free me from the envy I may have for the abundance in the lives of others. Amen. Now receive into your hearts and into your lives the blessings of our Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me today, and thank you for joining me throughout the week. I hope you have a safe, joyous Thanksgiving in Canada weekend. And I hope you join me again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, practice social distancing, keep washing your hands, and when you are in public, wear a mask. God bless.